In this video, we're going to simplify the expression 3ab cubed to the negative 2 power times ab to the negative 3 power all over 2a to the negative 4th, b to the 0. As we simplify with exponent properties, we keep in mind the order of operations as a guide to decide which property to employ first. Often, there's flexibility in this rule, but order of operations guarantees that we will start at the right place and end at the right place. Another thing to keep in mind are the 0 and negative exponents. Whenever we see a 0 exponent, such as b to the 0, we know that anything to the 0 power really simplifies to just 1. So I'm going to write times 1 and clear out the b to the 0. As far as negative exponents go, we will take care of the negative exponents by moving them to the numerator or denominator as needed after we use our power rules. After power rules or the exponents are taken care of, then we will move negative exponents. So let's simplify this expression from here. We've already taken care of b to the 0, that's 1. Continuing on, we would normally start inside parentheses, but there's nothing to simplify inside this parentheses. So next, we will use our power rules, and we have a negative 2 outside the exponent that needs to go on to each factor. It seems really odd to calculate 3 to the negative 2 power. Be careful, this is not 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6. 3 is a base, negative 2 is an exponent. Since it's kind of odd to feel out 3 to the negative 2, let's just write it as 3 to the negative 2 power for now, and we'll see how it simplifies. We also have a to the negative 2, and the power of a power rule says to multiply 3 times to negative 2 to get negative 6. We still have a, b to the negative 3 over 2, a to the negative 4th times 1. Now that we've used the power rules, we're ready to simplify our negative exponents. Notice the 3 has a negative exponent, so does the a, b, and b at the end. When we move all of those, the 3 squared move down, the a squared move down, the b to the 6th moves down, and the b to the 3rd moved down. The a, however, did stay in the numerator. Then in the denominator, we also saw an a to the negative 4th, so that a to the negative 4th moves up, and the 2 times 1 will stay in the denominator. Now all the exponents are positive, and we're ready to move on, simplifying the entire numerator and denominator first. In the numerator, we have a to the 1st times a to the 4th, and the product rule tells us to add the exponents, giving us a to the 5th. In the denominator, simplifying the numbers, 3 squared times 2 times 1, 3 squared is 9, times 2 times 1 is 18. We have an a squared, and on the b's, 6 plus 3 is 9. Finally, we're ready to use the quotient rule to finish simplifying. We have a to the 5th over a squared, and the quotient rule says we should subtract the exponents. 5 minus 2 is 3. Because this is positive, the a cubed needs to go in the numerator. This makes sense because we have 5 a's in the numerator and 2 in the denominator. When we divide out, the leftovers should be in the numerator. We still have the 18, b to the 9th in the denominator, and this becomes our final answer. We know we are done because there are no negative exponents, no parentheses, and each variable appears once. We got to our final answer by first taking care of our 0 power, then using order of operations as a guide, we employed our exponent properties to parentheses, powers, and then after powers, the negative exponents, and then finally, our multiplication and division rules.